Louisiana Beer Reviews. Do a review of Let the Good Vibes Roll Pale Ale, and it's got yeah, the Mardi Gras colors. Laissez bon temps rouler. Yeah, laissez le bon temps rouler. But and you say laissez, lazy, and I say lette. Yeah, well, lazy is that. sort of like related to that word. Lazy. Because it means let, like let it happen. So lazy, like you let stuff happen because you don't want to do anything. So yeah, it does come in a, in a Mardi Gras color, so yeah, it's, it's fancy, it's all gold finished in the front. Kind of reminds me of something like, you see off the Soul Train show when we were kids. There was Soul Train, Soul Train, and you can see like the Jackson 5, and yeah, and Cool Dick, and the Gang. And David Bowie one. one time. Yep, I remember that too. And of course, you know, when we were young, we didn't know who they were. We were just like, oh, look at them dancing all crazy. So this is, this is interesting, where'd you go? Uh, be curious from? My thorns had it. Yeah. It's from, tell, you want to tell a story on it? It's from oh, Seven Tap. Know. Seven Tap Brewing Project in Shreveport. Seven uh, Tap Brewing Project. The Seventh Tap, yeah. So it is, is so it, Seven Tap, does that mean that there's seven different brewers get together and collaborate on this? Six percent alcohol, six percent. No, they said when they were building their tap room, they had it was some kind of story they had made a mistake and it was supposed to be like six taps and then they put seven. Oh, I mean like like uh like Lyonesis sucks. Yeah, and they were like, why'd you put seven taps in there? And it was some like they'd say, Well we'll just call it that because some, some like crazy story. Sounds you know? planned to me. No, they say it wasn't, but they just used that incident we as don't, the, we don't know why it's like that. They used the incident oh, as oh, their oh, oh, oh. They used that incident as their name. Yeah. And people tell me that, you know, I've had good experiences with their beer. Not everything, but most everything. So this is a 16 ounce can. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure it's just as it, as, as it states, you know, this independent or craft brewing, whatever they're calling themselves nowadays. Yeah, it's an independent Louisiana oh. brewery. Yeah, look at that. What a head of foam that is. Of course, you always say, foam turns into beer. Right now, that's all I got is foam, but it does. Good grief. Can't say it's flat. Yeah, that's all you're getting. Oh, thanks. Well, well, I mean, you have beer, I have foam. It's hazy, <laughs> it's, it's hazy to the point that it's like apricot juice. You know what I mean? This is not like somewhat hazy, this is like totally opaque and uh, yeah, so if clear beer is your thing, you don't want to buy this. That is definitely my thing. I believe in having a beer filtered before it hits your system, not letting your system filter the beer. Yeah. So right. this is a real thick head, and it's not going anywhere. It's just kind of hanging out, so I'll let that hang out there for a minute, and we can talk more about this company. Now, you said there's seven taps, and then originally it was supposed to be six taps, and they don't know why, so they just went with that as a name. I think it. it I, I I probably have the story screwed up. But it was something to do with them building it, and then there was a seven tap that was like not right, and then they just kind of had a laugh out of it, even though it was probably aggravating at first, and then they called it that. So it's, it seems to me like nowadays the. Breweries need to have some kind of gimmick, or they need to have some kind of um, bling on the can to get get the beers sold. They can't just turn something out and and say, "Hey, this is good beer. Try it." Because yeah, I mean, there's no too many. There's it too many. It's it's all a visual now. That's what gets you. You gotta, you gotta get like pulled in. When you got a flooded market, you have to do something. Yeah. It smells tropical. If you smell it, you get some tropical notes. Oh, and I'm like, I wonder why they, they went with the Mardi Gras colors when they're 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 closer to Texas and Arkansas than they are. From I us. think just a lot I'm of people. Forestry Port here, like 400 miles. No, I think it's, it's way up in the northeast corner of the state. So we're here. Like 200. Shreveport's here. It takes a long time to get right. there. Boom. No right. Yeah, we're here. Shreveport's here. In case y'all. Like are geographically challenged. Yep. So Texas is over here. Shreveport's here. All right. That's where? It's, well, yeah. Water course here. It's like 30 miles from Texas, and it's hundreds of miles from here. Yeah. 
true. So, all right. Well, get a little white bread. So I got might have to do a wane here so I can get to the beer. Yeah, well, it'll so come underneath. Yeah. It'll go underneath the phone. I always tell people that it'll go right underneath the phone. Cheers. Cheers. I'm still gonna wait. So to me, it looks like one of those hazy IPAs they put out all the time. It's these these small brewers, they love to put the same beer out. Like nobody else makes this style. So we're going to make it and put it out and stick it in a fancy can. I sure hope this product tastes a lot better than what I'm anticipating. Cheers. <laughs> Negative Ghost Rider. IPA. Or is this something that's supposed to be an IPA? Well, it's a pale ale. It's it. just a PA. No date on the can, so I think it's probably from Mardi Gras time, but I've gotten a lot of beers from there that don't have dates. That's one little problem. What is that film? It's like wax. Eight percent. No, it's six. Six. Although the way they wrote the number six, it's it. Uh, okay. Well, I got my glasses on. I'm telling you, that's six. And it's, it's it's silver on gold. Yeah. So they didn't even have that listed on their website. Wow. That I, I'm gonna get a magnifying glass because that could be six or eight. And it tastes like a six. It does not taste like an eight percenter. It's very fruity. If you don't like fruity hops. You will just hate it. I mean, it's very bready too. It's very white breadish. It's bready and there's some film. It might have wheat in it. It does have a film now that you're talking about it. I didn't thought like about that. Like a waxing solo review. Yeah, it's like I think there's probably the hop, the lupulin powder. Oh no. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like lupulin powder. Lupulin powder. I wasn't is, gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it. I didn't want. I didn't want everyone to think that every time we pick up a craft brew, it's gonna have. We're gonna say a lupulin. Yeah, lupulin. All lupulin right, powder yeah. is like the garlic powder of beer. <laughs> At least it doesn't taste like pith. No. It does have a. It does taste like a pale ale. It's got a nice little bitterness to it. It's just some. It's got more bitterness than a lot of IPAs these yeah, days. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stuck on it, on that that waxiness that's going on. I'm, I'm, don't worry, kids. I'll, I'll get past that. I'm going to give it a fair grade. <laughs> it's cold. Cold beer here. Um, it's a it's a little it's a little heavy. It's a little heavy. Yeah, it's um, a little heavy. Sweetness is there, so I would say three out of five sugar cubes. And it's four out of five hop cones, though. I mean, you know, it's got the bitterness. Maybe over bittered for a pale ale. It is over bittered for a pale but ale, but know, which I appreciate that. But you and know, and, and the, right, the right bitterness. It does have it does have hop bitterness. It's sort of like Oscar not, Blues. Not, not something it's trying to be hop bitterness. I know what score I'm gonna give it. All right, I'm I'm gonna give this a B and for a couple of reasons. It gets a B. I was searching to give it a high score because I kind of reeled it in there a little bit. Waxiness is kind of throwing it off. Some kind of a, like a um, it's almost like a milk substance or something. I'm, I'm not really jamming on. Uh, but overall, it's a good beer. Uh, I'd say it, it's it's a little above average. Um, it's very close to an IPA. In some cases, you know, some of the newer IPAs that are coming out with that 
is it called the new style um, it would fit right in uh, is this better than Sierra Nevada Pale Ale? No. No. But it does have that that lupin that you're talking about. Yeah, lupin effect going on. I, I don't. I don't care for that. I, I never have. I'm not in love with it. I can live without it, you know. Yeah. I mean, this is the kind of beer I could drink maybe once a month, but I couldn't drink. This it is the day. kind of beer somebody brings it over and says, "Hey, check it out." I'd say, "Okay." Thank you, and I drink it, but I don't think I'd buy it. It's just a little too much. But um, would I recommend it for someone to buy? Yeah, because you never know what other people's styles are, what their tastes are, uh, what they appreciate, what they dis dislike. Um, Some you're saying by eighty five? Yeah, it's straight up, uh, straight up a B. And I'm saying ninety two. Ninety two. Getting into excellent. Yeah, <clears throat> it has flaws, of course. It's not perfect. That would be a hundred. But it, it's it's. For a style that I don't adore, I'm not really into pale ales because they're kind of blah, you know, they're kind of bland, but um, it's, it's... I don't think I gave it a bad score with an 85. I, I, thought that was, I thought that was a good score. A bad score would be like a 65. Um, but, you know, Dale's Pale Ale is a little more well executed than this one, but that's a big mass production company, so, you know, it's cleaner, it's, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't have that wax and all, but... Because Dale's probably come in around 94, 95, but the uh, you know, Double Dale's, uh, that's a little much, yeah. But um, it's a good treat beer, I guess. So yeah. this has a paper label on a clear can. All I'm right. Not, so, I'm not knocking them on that. You got to do what you got to do when you sell stuff. So seven. So we're looking at about an 88 and a half. Yeah. B comes out to a B plus on our average. If you see it, pick it up, try it. It might be your jam. Who knows? It's not unpleasant. Oops. It's actually, it's pretty good. That's why I got an 85 for me. Okay, and we're going to end this review by saying, ladies and gentlemen, bon tour, ladies, y'all go to Shreveport, to Linwood Avenue, and visit the 7th Tap Brewing Project. Check them out. They're probably a good place to have a beer.